there's almost nothing, groceries, gas, utilities, anything right now that we pay for, or at least in the last 20 years that isn't more expensive now uh, than it ever has been. And that has one exception, and that's, that's graphics cards. What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. So we survived the flu, then we survived COVID, uh, and we are still kicking ever so slowly. But we took a little bit of time off. We try revamping everything. We got new logos coming, new intros, new outros, all kinds of stuff going on. But specifically in this video, what I want to talk to you about is graphics cards because things have drastically changed over the last few weeks to a month and things are about to change all over again. So if you are on the edge of buying a card right now, this is the video for you. I have one goal. If you are on the edge of buying a card now or waiting, I want to convince you to buy that card. So let's get started. All right, so this is a little bit of a talking head video, kind of like a Jay's Two Cents. So if you want to minimize this and just listen to me ramble, or if you want to look at my beautiful face and some of the pictures that we throw up on the screen, feel free. Now, graphics cards are at an all-time low over the last three or four years, price-wise, especially price to performance-wise comparatively, and things are going to change. They're going to change drastically, and it is coming again. Now. Graphics cards right now, you can get about a 3070 Ti for six, 650 bucks. That's basically a 3080, a little bit faster in some scenarios. You can find yourself getting even a 3090 Ti that was just on sale for about $1,300, which is incredible. That was an EVGA FTW3. So prices have, not only did things stabilize, they hit rock bottom. This is rock bottom. It's not going lower than this in my opinion because the prices to, for the performance ratio is so low right now, Newegg, Micro Center, EVGA, everybody, everybody that has stock of these cars are running sales. And that tells me a couple of different things. That sale has been running now for about a month. You've seen different ones come up and down. We are getting really close to that cliff where you fall off of that cliff to the new cards. It happens really, really fast. Every generation that I've ever been a part of and that is when the new cards are getting ready to come, the old cards and those low prices instantaneously disappear. As the new cards hit the market, they instantaneously disappear. And you have this great void where the prices of anything on the secondhand market and the prices of the new stuff that is slowly trickling into just being out of stock all the time rise drastically. So I really think it is important right now for if you if you will have the money, you are waiting. It is. I have $700. I'm either going to buy a 4080 or I'm going to buy that 3070 Ti 3080. What do I do? I want to encourage you so greatly to get that 3070 Ti, that 3080, instead of waiting. Because you will be waiting much longer than you think. Now, I don't think it will be as bad as it was the last time, but supply chains are not all the way back to normal. Inflation has not been curbed. It is going to steadily keep going and everybody is going to continue to do what we do every generation. We're going to buy out these new cards. They're going to be gone instantaneously. That's going to drive the prices up. Scalpers are going to be at an all-time high again. That's not going anywhere. You still can't get PlayStation 5s. You still have a hard time in some scenarios getting an Xbox. Graphics cards right now, relatively stable market where you can get them relatively decent pricing for the most part. That's going to go away. It is coming. Winter is coming, I promise you. So where do you win or lose? You lose if, and this is a very big if, graphics cards launch and they're all in stock instantaneously within a month and you have no trouble getting them. I don't think that's going to happen. Now, at one point in time, I read an article about $10 billion that was being spent by NVIDIA producing all of these cards, $10 billion. As soon as you hear that, you think, wow, that is a lot of money. It is a lot of money. It's not as much product as you think when that is chopped up between so many different parts, pieces, manufacturers, employees, shipping, the containment, uh, container ships that have to come over and back and forth all across the world with inflation at the same time, with the cost of gas to do all of these things. That money gets chewed up extremely fast and then we're back where we were a couple years ago, no cards, scalpers super high. It's, it's, it is a perfect storm again 
this time it's not just covid it's the shipping it's the inflation it's the gas price that's what's going to hammer us so we're getting close to that cliff that i was talking about so i really think there's only one scenario where i think you should wait maybe two maybe you still have a 1080 ti that is rocking it maybe you have a 2080 ti that's rocking it in those two scenarios okay i don't think you need to upgrade now i think you can hang out for another year you can wait for the winter so to speak to pass until the sunnier side of the 4000 series and RDNA 3 come. I also don't think that this is going to be as massive of an improvement performance wise as it was this last generation. I think AMD will have an uptick. I think they'll have a 10-15% improvement. I think they will destroy it on the ray tracing side of things with their next iteration. I think that's going to be phenomenal. That'll be the biggest uptick if you're looking at AMD's side of things. But I don't see the performance gains coming from RTX 4000 that we saw from 20 series to 30 series cards. I just don't think that's going to happen regardless of all of the leaks and reports that are coming out. You really don't know until you see Jay, Linus, GN, or one of those guys get their hands on the card to see that improvement. That hasn't happened. I don't think it's going to. So I don't think there's going to be that big of an incentive generationally either. So I think that might drive it down too. I also don't think that you should upgrade if you are looking at very, very budget and hardware. What I mean by that is if you're looking at buying a 6500 XT, if you're looking at the 1630 GTX card, if you're looking at something on that price range, one, I think you're better off in the secondhand market looking at maybe... Uh, I, it kind of depends. Maybe a 20 series card, a little higher up 20 series card, maybe looking at like a 5700 XT, 5600 XT, depending on the situation. I think you're better off there than you are buying a 6500 XT or a 3050 uh, or anything in that price range because the performance is so bad and their price is still relatively high comparatively. You're better off in the secondhand market or you're better off hanging on to that 970 you got now and limping into uh, either a better secondhand card or maybe by the time you have money saved up for that, everything's normalized with 40 series and with the RTX or RX 7000 series cards as well. So I encourage you to buy now. I think things are going to get worse before they get better again. We're at that rock bottom pricing with a lot of inventory they're trying to get rid of. There's that perfect storm that is coming in a month and a half or so where those sell out, the new cards come right in and sell out, there's a giant void, there's inflation, everything else skyrockets again and we have another six months to a year of what we had the last two years of no graphics cards and prices being through the absolute roof. But let me know what your opinion is on that. If you're looking at getting a new card or not, if you're waiting, if you're not waiting, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe and like button as well so we can help build this community back up again to where it should be. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the pit in the next one.